Hey, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 449. Talked with a group just yesterday that was struggling because their reports were taking too long to process. They were trying to do some logic and complicated reports, and it was slowing down their entire system in terms of entering H&Ps or EOBs or whatever. And they said, hey, what we can do is build a data warehouse. We can pull the information out of the production data and put it in a separate database overnight. You can report against that reporting database all day long without slowing down your system. I'd love to do something similar for your practice. I'm going to play with a new feature in Excel 2013 called Data Callouts. When we were doing data labels in the past, we can do data labels, and this is a data callout. Notice how it looks a little bit different. It kind of looks like a quote, if you will, like, like your data is talking, if you will. Truth in advertising, I think they take up a bunch of space that I'm not sure necessarily justifies the value of data that they're presenting. I mean, you know, there may be places where you, you want to use them. I don't use them much just because the space they take up to the information they provide ratio just doesn't work for most of the stuff I'm doing. But I want to show you what they can do, and then you can decide for yourself on a chart-by-chart -chart basis. This is a data callout. And then what you can do from a data callout is we can come over here, and we can look at those data callouts. In fact, let's just double-click. And here's what we've got in terms of data callouts and what we can do. You can see the different things that we could put the additional information we did last time in the last Excel video and put that there. We can take that away. We've got some flexibility in terms of what we can do with data callouts. The other thing you can do with data callouts is you can move them around. Let me just show you what that looks like, like we did in the first video on labels and so maybe we'll put a little more information in here so you can see what it looks like. The advantage of a data callout is this data is not going to get buried inside the color of each column. You can really make it show up if you will and if that helps you and if that is of value to you, you might try it. You can move them around and do whatever you want to do from there. The other thing you can do with a data callout that might be helpful for you, in the first data label video we did a couple of Excel videos ago, what we did is we said, hey, you know what, let's get rid of this. No, I don't want to get, uh, I want to double click that. There we go. Now I'm just highlighting one at a time. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Let's say, for example, that this is a problem and I want to explain something about it. Again, let's make this one high like we did before. So this is particularly low. And I want to put some information here. Why were no-shows so low on this day or whatever? What you can do in both a data label and a data callout, this is not unique to data callouts, but it's a good place to talk about it, is I can double-click here, and then what I can do is I can edit this, and I can say, this was a snow day. And so maybe we started the clinic several hours later. We only opened for the afternoon or whatever. Do you see how I can put some information there and all I did was double click and edit the cell. And then the other thing I can do, like we did before, is I can move this around. See if we can move this around. And move my data callout around as well. Like we talked about when we originally talked about data labels. I'd only do this if I had a one time chart. I wouldn't want to, ref you know, when the data changed next month, then I've got snow day in there again and I've got to fix it. I'm not going to do this for an ongoing chart, but for a one time chart, this may be a helpful way to explain what happened with your data. That's what I wanted to show you with data labels and data callouts. But as you can see from the list, there's still plenty more things to talk about. And we'll keep going in the next Excel video. Thanks for watching.